Being able to translate and rotate a 3D object in a predictable manner depends largely on whether you've spent the time to set up its pivot point. Pivot points will work the same way in Unreal as they do in your 3D tool. Technically, you don't have to set pivot points up at all, but for the best experience in Unreal, place your pivot points on each asset where you want it to snap to other objects and where you want to be able to rotate it from. Also, be sure all pivot points are Z up. Otherwise, your asset might be incorrectly oriented on import. If you do have to change your pivot point, be sure to reset the transform in 3ds Max. Otherwise, the asset's pivot point when exported to Unreal will match the old pivot point orientation. Take this lamp for example. The pivot point is on the bottom of the object, where the base of the lamp meets the table. And it's centered on the lamp in such a way that we can easily rotate it around the center. This is the same behavior you're going to see in Unreal. If you're exporting an entire architectural interior or building, one option is to have the pivot point of each asset in the scene at the origin of the world, rather than inside of the geometry itself, while the geometry is located elsewhere. This has the advantage of making sure the entire scene is easily adjusted, as all the assets share the same common pivot point at 0, 0, 0. When exporting with FBX, the assets won't be in your Unreal level already, and you'll have to drag them into the scene one at a time. But if you've used this technique, the assets will be positioned in the same location they were in the 3D tool without needing to manually be moved or rotated. Of course, you'll have to make sure that they're all positioned at 0, 0, 0. It really depends on how you want to work. And remember, sending the entire scene at once using Datasmith means everything will already be set up in the correct locations. So adjusting pivot points isn't actually necessary for Unreal to be able to import your assets. Unreal is very forgiving in that way. But making sure you've set your pivot points up in this manner will make moving and rotating those assets in Unreal afterwards a lot more consistent. Up next, we'll look at the various types of UV mapping Unreal supports and how and why you want to use them when preparing your data for export.